Good morning, guys. How you doing? This is Emil with Speedline Garage, and happy Friday. It is a warm but wet Friday here in upstate New York today, and uh, I am heading to work at the moment to open up the shop, but I wanted to make a quick video and show you what I've done with this car um, last week that's been put away for many, many months, possibly a few years, actually. But anyways, uh, disregard the the wheel sound you're hearing right now. I did my tire rotation and unfortunately the rear ones are um, choppy. So I am just waiting um, a couple more weeks before I get a new set put on. And uh, so yeah, anyways, if it's too loud, let me know in the comments, but I will try to do my best to edit the sound. But anyway, so uh, 2013 Audi Q5, my daily driver, it's got 249,000 miles right now. This is original engine, um, original turbo, original pistons, original everything, never been um, rebuilt other than two timing chains in its life. Um, but anywho, so the problem I was having in the past, and I posted a video before, is that my uh, rear main seal was leaking and it was causing a lot of issues with uh, check engine codes for lean codes and I was having a hard time passing uh, New York City inspection so what I did instead I bypassed PCV and I created a closed loop in the system which allowed me to not draw any um, vacuum from the crankcase and not sucking in air to rear main, rear main seal so that got me by and I was able to pass inspection without issues um, and also the car was not running rough at idle which a lot of these cars do when you introduce unmetered air into the system after a mass airflow sensor so anywho uh, fast forward a few months I finally got some time and I threw the car in the shop took the engine out replaced the rear main seal and in the process I've uh, replaced a bunch of gaskets and um, O-rings and seals that would potentially cause any sort of oil leak. So anywho, this car right now leaks absolutely zero oil, which is awesome. Um, another thing is, when I purchased this car with 200,000 miles some years ago, I had zero idea what, whether this car burns oil or not because um, it was leaking a lot of it. So about one quart every 300, every 350,000, I mean, sorry, every 350 miles, I would have to add one quart of oil. And because I was worried about consumption, I was doing my oil changes more frequently, um, every three to 4,000 miles, and I, I would do uh, like a motor flush before every oil change. So anywho, uh, I've put 420 miles on this since the rebuild and uh, when I filled it I didn't fill it all the way because I wanted to leave a little bit of room for detergent if I have to do another piston soak or if I, no, I mean not piston soak sorry engine flush uh, after oil change but when I first filled it and finished the engine this is exactly how much oil the sensor was reading and 421 miles later it stays at exactly the same spot so i've been kind of tracking it trying to see um, how long it's going to take for me to drop one bar of oil and see if it's actually burning oil or not and if so how much oil it's burning so anywho 421 miles the oil is still exactly the same place where i put it um, originally Again, I underfilled it by half a quart, so that's exactly what it's supposed to show. And uh, I've been driving like this without an issue. No check engine lights, no hesitation, no uh, leaks. Everything is good with oil, everything is good with my check engine code. Um, and I can go and get it past inspection without any issues today. So anyways, just wanted to go do a quick update because a lot of uh, people were asking me if uh, bypassing PCV is going to cause any sort of issues or create potential other check engine codes. The answer is no. You're not really 
um, doing anything other than venting instead of into your intake manifold, you're venting into the atmosphere. So um, as long as you cap off your intake manifold and there's no air entering um, after mass airflow sensor, you will be fine. Um, this got me by for about six months during you know fall and winter, so I didn't have to worry about stalling. I didn't have to worry about hesitation after you know coming to a stop at the red light or whatnot. So for me, this was a great fix until I got to um, pull my engine, which I really ha really have no time to do any of my own personal projects because I work on everybody else's cars and plus we are in process of moving to a larger shop, which I am excited to announce eventually to the public, which I have not said anything. So this is my first time mentioning something. Um, in about a month, I will be moving to a much larger facility um, with more options, more lifts, and I can officially call that my own. So anywho, uh, stay tuned. Next video, hopefully, will be the shop. Um, if not, it will be another help or a guide or DIY for somebody to help with their vehicle. Anyways, enjoy your weekend, guys, and stay safe. See you later.